Hi guys, so have you ever wondered why white and black are considered cool colors in color analysis? Well, you know, first of all, it's because really good color analysts have an intuition about this and they can see the, the coolness in both of these colors, but what is actually going on? So to think about black, let's try to make black out of the three primary colors, and this is kind of possible. Um, so the three primary colors are red, yellow, and blue, and I found a video on YouTube. I was going to wait until I got a camera to do it myself, but I figured, you know what? It's already on YouTube, so I'm going to show it to you guys now, and um, I'll link the video down below as well. But here is a video of an artist making black out of the three primary colors, and I really want you to pay attention to how much blue he adds versus how much yellow he adds. And remember, red is neither cool nor warm, so we really want to take a look at how cool or warm black is, therefore how much blue versus how much yellow he adds to the color. So let's watch the video now. Okay, you guys, so let's take a look here at how this painter is going to make black. So he starts with a uh, quite a lot of blue. So let's see. So he starts with a lot of blue and he adds just a little bit of red. And we really want to pay attention to how much blue he has versus how much yellow he ends up adding. So remember that he has mostly blue here. So now he's adding just a little bit of red. And then he is, well, we have to wait a little bit. Then he's going to add just like a tiny bit of yellow later and you'll see just how little yellow he adds. So how much more blue is really present. See how little yellow he adds and how much more blue is present in that black color. So there it is. That is that is black. And then he makes some adjustments. Uh, you know, he tells you how to make the adjustments. But that is the point is that the black really has primarily blue. So that's it, you guys. Because black has more blue in it, a ton more blue in it, really, than yellow, it's actually a very cool color. It's not even a muted color because you saw just how much blue was present there. It's really a very cool color. So now you could be thinking, well, what about white then? You know, uh, maybe we can explain white too. Um, I think it's the most helpful White is way more difficult to explain, but I'm going to try to do it. I think it's way more helpful to think of white as all of the wavelengths getting reflected and black as all of the wavelengths getting absorbed. So white is a complete lack of pigment. So all of the wavelengths, which means all of the colors, are actually getting reflected. So when you look at this blue shirt, all of the colors that are not blue get absorbed by the shirt and all of the colors that are blue, so basically only blue, gets reflected. So when the, the shirt absorbs all of the wavelengths except for blue, the blue wavelength gets reflected and then it travels toward your eye and you see the blue. And in the same way, I, I'm going to use this for this explanation because I think it's easy to think about a blue light bulb is going to do the same thing. It's going to make blue wavelengths travel toward your eye. The same thing for purple. The purple shirt is going to reflect the purple wavelengths, so the purple light and the purple light will travel toward your eye, making you perceive the color purple. In the same way, uh, the purple light bulb will emit purple wavelengths, but either way, um, you know, purple is traveling toward your eye. Now we have red. Same story. Red wavelengths are traveling toward your eye one way or another. The light bulb is emitting it, the shirt is reflecting it, but at the end of the day, red is, is traveling toward your eye. But what is happening with white? So we have uh, now we can say that white light is basically traveling toward your eye, but white light is made up of uh, a lot of different wavelengths actually. So to understand what kind of light is really traveling toward our eye when we look at white light. First, I want to show you, I hope you will bear with me, it's really not that bad, uh, I want to show you a graph of each colored light and then compare it to a graph of white light. So here is a graph for each light independently, so a red light is going to emit, you know, you can see the red curve, it has a really sharp peak at the red, so it has more intensity at the red, the yellow has more intensity at the yellow, and the blue has more intensity at the blue. And you can see that the red curve right underneath the blue curve is zero, so it's not emitting any other colors. But now let's take a look at a white light. So 
this diagram, I really love it. The only thing we have to focus on here is the white curve. So the white curve is a white LED. LED is light emitting diode. It's basically a white lamp. So what you can notice right away is that the white LED has more blue in it than it does yellow. So a pure white light, so imagine, remember now, uh, a white shirt reflecting, a white lamp, etc. That white light that is coming toward your eye to make the color of pure white is actually going to have a bit more blue in it than it does yellow. So that is why white is considered a cool color. That's um, but that is my interpretation and I think it makes sense. Does it make sense to you guys? What do you think? So thank you for watching. Yeah, let me know what you think.